Hey guys, what's up? It's Felix here. Welcome back. So this week, it's been really busy week for me. It's been hectic, so that's why I post a lot less videos than usual, guys. But I'm back here. I'm back. I'm glad. Okay, so we have a lot of new events that's going on in JP. I'm gonna go through them one by one. But first, I'm gonna go through this banner first. Alright, so uh, this is not a CG character, by the way. So this is basically an Awakened Rain. So it's like 5-star base Rain now. And he's the only 5-star base character in this banner. Uh, be glad, guys. So he's like a magic tank here. Okay, let's ho head over to Reddit, right? Um, for his abilities here, because I don't have time to make the slides. Uh, I have to do like the work later on after this. So, his trash master, let's start. Plus 40% spirit, plus 20% HP gained to limit break crystals per turn. Amazing stuff. And he's got this... Uh, what is this? So you can equip like a lot of stuff here, and it's got in um, pretty decent stats, especially his spirit. He has the highest, yeah, he has the 153 spirit because it's a magic tank, and 3,856 HP, not so bad, guys. And um, he can equip all of these weapons, so a lot of weapons and armors there. Amazing stuff. And... His limit burst at 6 stars, 760% AOE, 24 hit magic attack with 100% spirit as magic. So it's like Leela, guys. And also when it's max, 1240% AOE damage, 24 hits. So I think you can chain this with another rain. It's amazing. Okay, but it's limit break though. And it costs like 36 crystals. So that's a lot of crystals. And um, his magic spells is Fireaga. Stone gonna race, but it's not a full race, so it's pretty mediocre there, I guess. 30% HP revive. And also, he's got this skill, his highlights. I'm just gonna highlight his important skills. And um, this one is like a, a chance to cover, like, you know, Cecile or any chance. And he's got high tide, let me break field rate plus 100%. And also, he can self uh, three turns buff himself with 200% and also heals at the same time, guys. And he's got a lot of passive stats right there. He got immunity, status stats, and he can also provoke for like three turns here, as you can see, two uh, two turns only, plus 100% chance to be targeted and self two turn 30% damage reduction. So it's like a uh, single target provoke tank. He can be a single target provoke tank too, besides being a, like a magic tank. And yeah, he's got a lot of passive for his spirit and defense as a tank. So it's pretty self-explanatory right there. And um, he can self two turn plus 200% spirit. And um, he's grand this skill, right? Uh, he's grand this skill, this one, this skill. So if you use that skill, uh, you use this 12 MP, yeah, the 12 MP ability here, right? So the next turn, you can use this skill, um, this ability here, right here. And 60 MP, amazing guys. 1000% AOE one hit magic attack with 100% of spirit as magic. So this one is like Leela, right? But instead of like chaining hits, it's like an AOE finisher move. So yeah, he's he can be insane, bro. Like can you imagine like if you gear him with spirit gear as a magic tank, right? As high spirit as possible. And he also can deal some insane damage right there. I think he can be... He can be potentially one of the best, like, magic tank. Instead of, you can, like, use this cover thing for three turns, right? So, the next turn, you're not gonna do anything. So, you can, like, uh, finish with this AOE ability, 1000% spirit thing. Because your spirit is already high anyways. So, you're gonna deal some really crazy damage, guys. So, he's pretty good. And his main, uh, the cream of the crop skill here, is his three turn, 80% chance to defend allies from magic damage reduce 50% and also physical 70% 70, 70 magic damage so it is really insane okay this guy is I think a step above all of the magic tanks right there because all the magic tanks out there can only have like 75% chance to cover magic attack including bash I think alright so yeah I think that's the only good thing about rain he can be a, a really excellent magic tank and as well as an excellent finisher, magic finisher here. And this one, I think killer also applies as well. So it's really amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna end 
uh, this rain thing here okay and we also has a chance uh, we will get this uh, wandering rain later so he's like a damager he's like aoe damager and also his imperil thing can do a lot of imperils okay so, and also we uh, tomorrow, the 21st of October, we will get this raid, the Cacto raid, so it only lasts for a day, guys. Um, you can get a lot of rewards for this, so uh, make sure you guys play like tomorrow so we can get a lot of rewards together, right? We can get like tickets or something like that, so I don't know. I don't know what are the rewards, but the rewards are based on the points that is um, achieved from this raid. Yeah, and we got this Wandering Rain here. Um, wandering Rain. Yep, so this one is will be sent to all the people that uh, attend the FFB Fan Festa in Japan, Tokyo. So obviously I'm not one of them, so I cannot get him. But we'll get that we will get him at the later date, as they say here. So I'm uh, I already translated for you guys right there. And um, also during this thing we get X points 1.5 times so if you buy lapis you can get more X points yeah I don't think it's good unless you want to get Medina Medina or whatever then and of course the 10,000 lapis uh, we already get like uh, the first one and on Sunday we will get another one guys right on the 22 of October we'll get another 10,000 lapis so it's crazy right here guys crazy stuff and um if you guys need to pull for rain, you need a magic tank and OP one, go ahead and pull. But otherwise, you do not feel the need to pull him. You can like skip the banner, guys, and save for the 22nd of October. So there, there will be a, like half a day live stream, live stream for half day. So there are three parts. They're gonna announce a lot of things. So I bet it's gonna be like super high banners, like some crazy popular characters right there. But I cannot say for sure which one it is. Alright. Um, for now, let's move on to the weapon enhancement dungeon thing. Let's go. Okay, so let's head into the uh, raid event. So this raid, um, you can choose your weapon. Whichever weapon you want. Like uh, In this case, I chose the 125 one from the trial. So it's really OP, but you can enhance it again. Can you imagine this shit? Okay, so uh, the green color letter there, HP plus 2%, MP plus 1%, MP plus 5% is the enhancement effect that I already got from the previous floors. And um, yeah, it's pretty amazing, man. All right, let's go, man. Um, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so you can like change weapon here, but you're gonna restart again on floor one. But and in the floor one, right, uh, you will get this really, really mediocre enhancement. So I'm going to see what happens in floor 10. Okay, so I'm going to refill, right, uh, refill the orbs with maybe lapis. So we just got 200 lapis from compensation. I'm just going to use that shit. Oh, okay. Also, you can get the, use this bottle as well, guys. This one is you can get it from the one of the quests, uh, the new quest, I think. Hold on. So I can use all five orbs, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna use it all now, guys. Okay, so um, yeah, you can get that bottle from the new the anniversary quest thing, like in the vortex step, I think. Okay, so let's go. Interesting, interesting. So I do not have to spend lapis at all. Amazing. Okay, so uh, this is the floor number six, I think. So the enemy is getting harder and harder here, as you guys can see. There are dinosaurs. But I think the max difficulty will be like the same as the normal rate in the Elite version where the enemy has like 4 million HP as you guys can see. Even at floor 6, I think the, the total number is like floor 10 I think. And for this weapon. And um, even at floor 6, it's still easy guys. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay. So every time you complete a floor, you will get this event thing. So you can get the tickets and you can get these two abilities that you can choose to enhance, right? And um, so you have three slots to put in your abilities. So we have like here the new abilities here that we get. Attack plus 3%, uh, magic plus 3% and um, every turn increase defense. So in this case, in the so this is the left, the left thing, right? Uh, the left option gives you the option to leave uh, and 
if you do not want to replace at all guys right so I'm not so it's gonna leave right so it's it's not gonna replace all your stats You're just gonna like go through the next floor again but the right option is you can replace your one of the abilities here guys uh, like you choose this ability okay so you want to replace this okay this one uh, so okay we remove that ability here and replace it here and there we go there we go uh, we get a magic plus two percent here guys amazing okay so all right so the floor 10 we have this boss I don't know it's gonna be hard or not but it seems like really hard though okay um let's do break guys let's do break okay so this is the break here okay this are uh, five of them okay okay so we can break there his attack thing and I'm gonna use this one for risk okay I think it's easier man All right, guys, I worry too much. So, floor 10 is kind of easy, guys. All right, so just bring all your attackers or uh, something like that. And probably the the previous floor, the enemy kind of like resists fire, so I did so little damage right there. But in this, I don't think the enemy kind of resists anything, so I can kill it one turn. Okay, so this is what happens if you like clear like floor 10. Right there we go, and um, wow, that's surprising, man. This the ability suck, bro. So we have like every turn gain spirit up, every turn gain defense and MP plus seven percent. Oh my god. Okay, this one sucks. So I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm not gonna replace anything. Okay, so once the dungeon is clear, right? Okay, so the final effect is this. Magic plus 7%, Magic plus 10%, HP plus 10%. I think it's randomized, so it also kind of depend, uh, kind of like dependent on your luck too. And um, yeah, so if you guys are not satisfied with the effect, you can rerun it again for the weapon. And um, yeah, and after you're done with 10 floors, and you can change your weapon again. So, mm -hmm. so you can like, okay, so this one, the red colored one, is already enhanced, and. Um, what I cannot enhance my Excalibur. Oh, so you can only enhance a specified one, a specified weapon here. Like you cannot, you cannot enhance everything. Oh my god. Look at this. This is pretty bad, bro. Okay, wait. Let me check if I'm equipping all the stuff. Did I equip my Excalibur? Uh, okay. I'm using my fire weapon, guys. So, uh, my Excalibur is not equipped. Okay, right there. But I cannot enhance my Excaliburs. Oh, so you can only choose a, specif a specified weapon right there within a game. And yeah, you can only choose this one. So they only give you a choice of weapons here that you can enhance. And not everything. You cannot enhance everything that you want. So my Excalibur, I cannot enhance it. Too bad. But yeah, I can enhance the 135 sword. Yeah, I'm gonna enhance all the shit. And can enhance the 12 legendary weapon too. Like this one, the knife here. So yeah, that's pretty good, man. Pretty good. And my stuff is really OP here, guys. Crazy stuff. 125 magic on top of that, 17% magic attack, and also HP plus 10%. How crazy is that shit? Holy shit, man. Alright, I think I'm just gonna end this here. I, I, I hope you guys like getting a clear idea of what the weapon enhanced dungeon is all about. I'll see you guys in the next